history of the world with your hosts, Raven Newman and Peter Harrisork. I am Raven Newman, and I'm Peter Harrisork, and we're going to be talking about the history of the world. Bruh, I wanted to say that line, but I'm Raven Newman, and I'm the lead host, so can we just, and we are talking about original sin. I thought this was world history, not catechism. Oh yeah, but some Catholic stuff is involved in the history of the world. Oh yeah, and original sin is what created drinks like Dewey and Callahan and stop making legally blonde references. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. So anyway, we are going to be talking about original sin and how it came into existence. But first, we need to know about how the world came into existence. There was only one man who created this world. Folks, give a big bow to God. Yeah. Let's just say that was repeated a thousand times because this guy deserves to get bowed to. Why, hello there. Thank you for inviting me. Well, you're welcome. I was expecting you to be a whole lot bigger. I, I can change size. And after all, I was the one who created the world because of course, I am God. So can you tell us about how you created the world? Oh yes, I can. And a little thing I'd like to call the Bibles. Ooh, the Bible. We're gonna be going to the way beginning of the Bible. And hang on, I thought we were talking about the entire world. Some of that actually goes on in the Bible. So let's say we get started with chapter one. Yeah. So first, there was a pitiful void right in the thing that was about to become Earth. So I took this void and created what was called light. <laughs> Now I made two domes out of that light. One I called sky, and the other I called sea. That was the first and the second parts of the day. So then I told the land to spring up vegetation, and I decided to call that land. And also there's tons of fruit and veggies and flowers and tons of other good stuff like that. Then I created what was called the sun for the day and the moon for the night. Also, Pokemon Sun and Moon, but that didn't come out in like 20 million like infinity years, so... Yeah, let's just get back to talking about how I created the earth. So then, that was the fourth day, and now for the fifth day, we decided to put tons of nice living fish, dolphins, and even the occasional dun 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 shark. <coughs> but don't worry, they're friendly. No! And I also decided to create tons of friendly birds to flock the air. <laughs> and that was the sixth, fifth day. Then I decided to create living animals. Then so there was the reindeer <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> hey, whoa boy, whoa. <laughs> and also the cat. <laughs> and they all lived in harmony with one another. And that, my friends, was the sixth day. But hang on. You thought I was done. 
But I bet you didn't know I created all of you in my own image. So I decided to create these two people to start the earth. Meet Adam, Yo, and Eve. Why, hello there. So I decided to put them on the earth to take care of all the animals. <laughs> oh, whoa, good boy, good boy. Wow. There. Hey, hey man. <laughs> but then, I told them not to eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil right here now do not eat the fruit you can eat the fruit of any literally any other tree here but not this one right here it's a test oh okay this should be easy <laughs> i know right we have all these other trees to eat the good fruit from but then one day some stupid snake had to go and ruin the plan. Get out of there, gremlin. You're just a myth. Oh, sorry. Why, hello, sir. Um, hi? I'm the Serpentines, by the name of Sue. I bet you are really, really hungry, aren't you? Um, yes, yes I am. So why don't you eat that yummy fruit over there? Yeah, that fruit's yummy. And for another thing, it makes you more powerful than God. So more power and smarts than you can ever, ever imagine. But God told us, don't care about what God tells you. What God tells you, what God tells you. <laughs> Can you believe this person? Oh, all right, fine, 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 fine. All right, now take a bite. <coughs> wow, I do feel smarter. I better go tell Adam about this. Oh, yes, you should. That's Sid. I'm a head out now. Goodbye. Two hours late there. Hey, Adam! Adam! Yeah, what? Check out this food! Oh no! That is a bite out of it. Did you just. Oh, not to worry. It was from the tree of the knowledge. You didn't just. You really ate that fruit? Really? Yeah, I feel a whole lot smarter. I can do tons of good algorithms. E equals MC squared. <laughs> tons of complicated math stuff. <laughs> also, I know how to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Don't even start. S U P E. All right, fine, I'll have the apple. Wow, do you feel a lot smarter? Yeah, that's right. But I also feel kind of guilty too. You know, God told us we shouldn't eat the fruit. Wait, I hear someone. Let's go hide behind that bush. Adam. Ready for a morning walk? Where are they? Hmm. Oh, there you are. Uh oh, exposed. What is that? Is that the. Don't tell me you actually ate the. But Eve told me to eat that. Eve? No, 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 the, the snake. Sorry. The snake? Not sorry. 
Okay then. Okay then. <coughs> All right, snake. Don't lose your limbs. Will serve a sad, limbless life. Thanks a lot. And you, Adam and Eve, for eating the fruit, and for Adam, for Eve, for telling Adam to eat the fruit like that, and for Adam actually eating the fruit, you are banished from the garden. And I'll put up an angel with a flaming sword. Forever. However, I am planning on creating my son to destroy all sin, to forgive people of their sins. That way, everyone can go to heaven. However, for now, it appears that the gates of heaven are closed. And that, my friends, is how original sin came into existence. How sad. However, you can receive the sacrament of baptism as a little kid. Oh yeah, you can. I remember that one time when I was a baby. So that's why they drenched me and put me in those really, really dressy white clothing. Uh, yeah, those yeah, those reels, I could only do that for like one hour. Then I started bawling by communion. <laughs> You should have seen my parents. Everyone was just giving them dirty looks and... Oh, okay. I guess I shouldn't ramble about that. Everyone, give a round of applause to God for telling us his good story. And I assure you, I'll be back with some more on the next episode of History of the World with Raymond Newman and Peter Har Harris Ork. And God, thank you, God, for running the show. Oh, it was nothing, boys. But I have heaven to get to. I need some people to be accepted there. God, out. But I'll be watching over you. That's good to know. Okay, then. Well, people, you heard it. It was the wrap-up of the show. So, goodbye for now.